the council convene. Oh. So, uh, tonight we have... I'm sorry, uh, Brother Duffy, did you want to say something? No, I, uh, I just, it's funny, I just thought I might be the one to say, let the council convene. Why? That's kind of the thing we have going, right? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm the first counselor. Sure. Yeah, I'm the, you're the mind, I'm the mouth. You're the brain, I'm the face. You're the, you're the Moses, I'm the Aaron. Oh, okay. Well, you're the telephone, I'm the, the person, the tele person, I'm the person. Okay, look, if you, if you care about it so much, why don't you just go ahead and say it? Oh, no, no, that's okay. You can say it. I already said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead, go on, come on. No, I mean, I, I just said it. I, I mm -hmm. don't... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, uh, well, so tonight... Let the council convene! <sighs> oh, I am so sorry. Did you want to say that? Was that going to be your thing? Oh, well, that's my bad. I'm so that's on me. I just, I, it felt good, and I wanted to say it. I'm so sorry. Okay. We have a lot to do tonight. Yeah. So let's just get started. Okay. Brother Pistorius, can you please read the minutes yeah. to last week's meeting? Okay. First, Father Chetton presented a draft of his sermon, then Brother Duppy made a very passionate argument that his introduction for Father Chetton should be longer than the sermon itself. Uh, we discussed raising the price of our Italian sandwich in light of the recent salami shortage. Uh, then the vision told Brother Duppy he had something stuck in his teeth, to which Brother Duppy responded, did I get it? The vision said, no, it's even bigger now. Brother Duppy said, how about now? The vision said, no, now I can't even- why am I here? Pardon? I'm not even on the council. Hey, uh, you know that I have always valued your unique perspective as a, well, a friend of the council. Uh, okay, uh, let's, let's just move on to the agenda for tonight, Brother Pistorius. <clears throat> uh, first order of business, financial discrepancy. Okay, in the past week, about $500 went missing from the Delhi cash register. What? Brother Pistorius seems to think someone may have stolen it. All right, are we sure Brother Pistorius didn't just misplace it? I mean, he's been a little on edge lately. I did not misplace $500! Oh, see? I don't know. I mean, nobody's ever tried to steal from us before. I'm starting to think that this might really be just a financial discrepancy. Okay, I've been working at this deli since I was six years old. I'm not just gonna lose $500! Okay, all right, well, maybe you lost only 400 and someone took the other 200. Look, I don't know. We don't need to solve this right now. Everyone just keep an eye out, okay? Next. Okay, Sister Lucy lodged a complaint. Some guy was apparently hanging around the garden the other day asking her a lot of questions about the disappearance of the elders. How would he know about that? That's why it's on the agenda. I'm thinking someone's feeding them information from the inside. <gasps> like a mole? No, like a person. <laughs> the question is, is there anyone among us who we can't fully trust? Hey, uh... What about that new girl? What's your name? Ru Ruben? Ru Ruby? Ru Ru Rubin? Rubin? Ruby? What about her? Well, maybe she's rubbing elbows with this, this townie. Once again, it is Ruby, and I've never seen an initiate express so much interest in our faith. I think you're both being paranoid. Okay, uh, let's, let's just table this for now. If he comes around again, we can bring it back up then, okay? Uh, moving on. Yeah, um, uh, final order of business, the ritual shedding of blood. What? Uh, earlier this evening, Brother Duffy was reviewing the scripture, and he found a passage that we... Chapter 517, verse 350. It says that after a translation, and I quote, blood must be shed among the gardener's council in acknowledgement that though in Eden we live, Mortal, we still are, and therefore, imperfect. That means... Basically, 
because the old council transcended to the higher plane, we, uh, the new council, have to shed some blood to ordain ourselves in the eyes of the Lord. Wait, we have to kill ourselves? What? No. No, no, just shed some blood, like slice up a palm or something. But with a gun? Y yeah, I'm actually also a little unclear as to the gun of it all. Why didn't you just bring a knife? I didn't have any knives. Why would I have a knife? Why would you have a gun? You could have just borrowed a knife. I mean, we own and operate a deli. What do you think we cut our bread with? Oh, no, that's a, uh, that's a health code violation. Okay, we're not doing that. Look, okay, someone is gonna have to get shot. It can just be in the hand or something, and then we can all go back to bed. Well. Who's it gonna be? I'm a hemophiliac. Oh, oh, no, keep that to yourself. Okay? No, uh, no. Rules against that kind of thing. Being a hemophiliac means you bleed a lot, okay? I, I wouldn't stop bleeding. It's caused by an excess of black bile in the spleen. Yes, thank you. If I got shot, I could die. Would someone please just tell me who I'm supposed to shoot? To? How about you shoot yourself? Oh. Or better yet, you give me the gun and I do it for you. No, 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 it's, um, it's my gun. And? One of you might break it. Well, <coughs> I know that I've suffered enough today. Oh, so. give me a break. I got Chipotle mayo in my eye! Hey, guys. We well, could just shoot the vision. We could just nail him in one of his eyeballs. He wouldn't feel a thing. Oh, wouldn't feel a thing. He's blind! Not... How could anyone not feel that? I am seeing that it's not going to be me. Damn it. Well... Uh, Delilah, I guess that, that just leaves you then. I am a woman, and I'm not even technically on this council, so... You know, I have always admired your unique perspective. I always have admired my unique perspective. Why was I the last one to know about this meeting? Hmm. Yeah, that's true. We did forget to invite you. We made it about halfway through the meeting before we realized we could just shoot you. <laughs> what? Delilah. A man? <laughs> or a woman? I'm that I, who else is even here? <laughs> How about we ask the vision? Right? I mean he knows everything. He can just tell us. Then we can stop bickering, all go home, eat some salami, and uh, put some fresh bandages on her festering corneas, go to bed, call it a night. Vision, is it I? No. Oh. Okay, well it's not me, right? I mean, I, I, I know it's not me, but I, you know, I was... No. Oh, okay, good, I was getting nervous for a second. Oh, fine, fine. Is it I? No. So me then. I am seeing... Yes. <coughs> Why? Because you are afraid of being found out. Alright, ready Father Chen? Okay, just please make sure you shoot me in the hand. Yeah, well, well, we'll see. We'll see. So, I should probably have my eyes open for this, right? Okay, so, that's it. Give me that. No, 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 I will no. do it myself. I'm gonna break it. Okay, just uh, don't worry. I never miss. What the? Is the safety on? Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry, everyone. First time. First time. You said you never. <laughs> Let them be as a crisis. No posture. 